Hello everyone, it's the Mongoose and today is the first of the month so that means we're going on a manga haul today. I'm just using that as an excuse to buy some more manga. But today is a very special manga haul because we are going to buy the best shonen out there that is on the market that we can find at Barnes & Noble. We are picking up the top of the top shonen manga that we can find in there. So I think it's gonna be a really fun and exciting manga haul today because I don't usually pick up too, too many shonens. So let's go ahead and go inside because I feel really awkward talking in a parking lot to my phone while a lot of cars are driving around. Arriving at the manga section, the first thing I see is this little stand right here with what looks like manga's greatest hits of both shonen and romance. Usually there's like a little new release section, but for some reason this Barnes & Noble doesn't have that. They did have a little end cap of light novels, but the thing of it is, is I have so many light novels that I said I'm going to read and I just have not read any of them. That was one of my goals this year. And let me tell you, I am failing at that goal miserably right now, but they still had some pretty cool titles nonetheless. Snow White with the Red Hair, still no volume one of this manga. I'm determined to find it after a bunch of you recommended it to me. We had the Steinsgate Barnes & Noble Exclusive Edition, which was different than the Steinsgate Barnes & Noble Exclusive Edition I picked up a few videos ago. So I don't know if it's a different exclusive edition, if it's new, what the deal is with that. I saw this manga, or to say Yatsura. Now it looked like a older manga, I'm not really sure, I'm just guessing by the art style, but I haven't seen this manga at Barnes & Noble yet. Now starting at the front of the section, I see a new manga here that looks like a shonen for sure. Five seconds before a witch falls in love. Now I know love is in the title, but there's witches and witches do magic. They fight with magic. So it looks like a very interesting shonen for sure. Now this Barnes & Noble actually had a lot of volume ones like Assassination Classroom, they had 1 through 4 of Asadora, all of the Attack on Titan per usual. I see the Omnibuses, which I don't know if I just haven't been paying attention to them yet, but they are there, which is cool. I do like singles, but sometimes it's nice to pick up multiple volumes in one. A lot of Chainsaw Man, I still need, I think, volumes 8 through 10, if I'm not mistaken. They're just coming out so fast at this point. Now this manga scared the crap out of me when I saw it. At first I thought it said crueler than dead and I was like, whoa, a story about donuts, that's pretty cool. But it's crueler than dead and yeah, this manga looks absolutely terrifying. It looks like what nightmares are made of, so I'm probably gonna pass on that one. The Brave VTuber. Now this was cool to me because it was nice to see a manga acknowledging VTubers. I think that's really cool. I think a lot of VTubers are really awesome. So I thought it was cool that there was a manga about it. I can't stop cursing you. I really like the artwork in that. Blue Period Volume 6, the new volume of Blue Period has arrived. I still have to catch up on that series though. Now, I did say I was here for shonens, the biggest, the best shonens out there. And I just, I have not seen many shonens so far, to be quite honest with you. There was this manga, Days of Love at Seagull Villa, which seemed relatively interesting. I haven't seen it before at Barnes or Newberry, so it definitely caught my eye. Now Demon Slayer, now, I, I was interested in Demon Slayer, but then once you get into it, you realize that Zenitsu and Nezuko have this whole love romance thing. Will they, won't they? So like I said, I'm not here for romance manga, so I'm going to pass on that. 
Dragon Ball, once again, uh, I'm not here for romance. I heard there's this weird love triangle with Goku and Vegeta and Piccolo. So yeah, I'm going to pass on that as well. I did see volume one of Doro e Doro. I actually read that because a lot of you recommended that to me. I finally picked it up and it was very, very good. So I can't wait to read the next one. The Devil's Line. I have not seen this yet and I'm not going to lie, it's a little NSFW. So I had to cut out a little bit of it. Usually those mangas are sealed, but that one was not and got some surprise nudity in that manga. Manga. Dr. Stone, once again, I mean, just too many romance mangas at this Barnes & Noble. Like, I heard it's about a doctor trying to create this love serum so he could find the love of his life. Gotta pass on that. The Eminent Shadow. I didn't really look too much into it. It's a common theme in these halls where I just kind of forget what I'm looking at and I forget to go back to it after I record it. One day I'm gonna get better at that, I swear. Some good night pun pun. Great Pretender sounded like a really interesting story, which apparently was based on a Netflix series. It's about a con man, I think. Happy Kanako's Killer Life. Now this is another full color manga. I don't see too, too many of these. My senpai is annoying and now this one. And it's about a girl who's like down on her luck and ends up taking a job as an assassin and is really good at it. So it seemed pretty interesting. Go with the clouds north by northwest. Now this has the same exact font as Record of Ragnarok. That's the only reason I picked it up. I'm not even gonna lie to you. The, I just saw the font and I was like, oh, that looks kind of similar. Fly me to the moon. I am still looking for volume one. Please, somebody restock that. I want to read it so bad. Moving along in the manga section. We do see a lot of Hunter Hunter here. And I can't believe I slept with you. Now, I passed on this last time, but that girl's on top of the other girl. They're clearly wrestling, so it looks like a really interesting shonen manga to me. Island in a Puddle. I just really love the artwork on the cover of this manga and I actually haven't seen it before. I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous. Now Jujutsu Kaisen, once again, I mean, just so much romance fully stocked at this Barnes & Noble. Like, it's about Skuna who invades Itadori's body. I, I don't know, it's like a weird romance sci-fi fantasy story. Just gonna have to pass on it, unfortunately. I think this is the new section in this Barnes & Noble. Like I said, it's kind of weird here for some reason. They don't like have a blatantly obvious new section, but I did see this which is Cheese Sweet Home. I don't know, this cat looked absolutely crazy. It looked kind of like a just fun, enjoyable read to me. Tons of Comey Can't Communicate, Zelda. I've never thought of reading the Zelda manga. Let me know if any of you have. Life Lessons with Urimachi Onisan. Now, I actually really wanted to pick this up and I forgot about it. it seemed like a pretty cool story, something that I haven't really like come across yet. Lone Wolf and Cub, I mean, this is a story about a father and a kid, which once again, I mean, we're, we're here for shonen, the biggest and the best shonen, and for some reason, they're just all out. It's kind of weird, to be honest with you. Mama Akuma, seemed like a pretty cool story to me. I, I tend to just gravitate towards titles that I haven't seen in Barnes & Noble yet. Now while we're here, let me know guys, what is your favorite shonen manga or anime of all time? Do you have one? Do you have a few? Let me know. I'd love to hear in the comments what your favorite shonen is. Me personally, ugh, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Maybe, maybe Clanad? Clanad's pretty good shonen. Now 
And as you see, they have a ton of One Piece, which is literally about a pirate just traveling the world, trying to find true love. I mean, it has like over a hundred volumes at this point. It's pretty crazy. You would think that he would find his true love by now. For some unknown reason, he hasn't. Neo Parasite. I haven't seen this before, but I was actually watching Parasite and I randomly stopped for some reason. Like I was enjoying it the whole time. I was like, this is a good anime. And then I just never finished it for some reason. So I gotta go back to it at some point. Quintessential Quintuplets. This is a great shonen about, wait, Quintuplets. About a pair of quintuplets that actually go and fight crime. You should definitely check it out if you're into shonen. It's really, really good. Ruby, I think this is how it's pronounced. I heard that this is getting a new anime, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is. So that's pretty cool. I might have to get into that at some point. Sakamoto Days. Now this manga, I was actually surprised to see because one, I've never seen it before. And two, Barnes and Noble actually put it out before it's supposed to be released. I looked it up on their website. It said it's supposed to be released on April 5th. So that's pretty cool. Sasaki Miyano, I still cannot find volume one of that. Really want to get into it, but apparently Barnes and Noble does not want me to. <laughs> We are in the last section, No Skip and Loafer Volume 2, still the cursed Volume 2s. Gosh, I actually just never have seen Skip and Loafer Volume 2 because I would pick it up immediately, to be honest. It's a really, really good story. Spy Family, if you're up for some good family fun, I would definitely check out this manga, but we're here for Shonen today. We're here for action, so we're going to pass on Spy Family. Let me know if any of you have read the Star Wars manga comics. I don't even know what they are. Just know that they're Star Wars. I'm pretty sure Star Wars is coming out with like an anime too. Son of Toilet Bound Hanako, I actually have to get back into that series. I kind of just forgot to continue it and I really enjoyed it too. That's the thing. And I think I have up to the fourth volume. So definitely gotta jump back into it. Zom 100, once again, I mean, I, I don't know guys. I'm really sorry because I came here for Shonen's, but Zom 100 is literally about a guy in a zombie apocalypse trying to find love before he dies. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm just failing this manga haul really, really badly right now. You guys came here for Shonen and Barnes and Noble said, no, not today. Vagabond? A ton of you have recommended Vagabond to me. As you can see, they didn't have much shown in, but I, I picked up a few that I think you guys are gonna like. So, so let me go ahead and show you what I got today. Okay, so first off, happy April Fool's Day. If you guys could not tell, I did enough trolling in this video for a whole year. So this is not really a shonen manga haul, but our first pickup is When Will Aimu Make His Move Volume 3. I actually am starting to enjoy this series a lot more, so I decided to pick up Volume 3. I also saw Kaguya-sama Love Is War Volume 2 recently, like a couple days ago. I just decided to stop into Bard's Noble. So I figured I'd grab it because I've never seen it before in person. And then I also got Spy Family Volume 7, so I was obviously joking, I love Spy Family. I'm really excited to catch up into this series as well. I think it's really good, and I picked up a couple shonens in this haul because I felt bad for trolling for literally 15 minutes about shonen, so I figured I'd at least pick up a couple. <laughs> but this series is awesome, it's definitely one of my favorites right now. Now, I did pick up Sakamoto Days, which is another shonen. Now, this seems like a really nice story, kind of family centric, but it's about an ex hitman where the world brings him back into that life, even though he's trying to avoid it and just raise his family and live a normal life. Thought it could be good. Picked up the dangers in my heart. Now, I've seen this before in a previous haul and someone left a comment saying that it's actually very good. I saw that it's won some awards as well. And it says it's a rom-com with a dark side. So I'm definitely interested to see where this story goes. 
So I picked up Our Teachers Are Dating Volume 2. I actually read the first volume and it is probably the cutest manga in the entire world. It is so endearing, so nice, and it just heartwarming overall. So I'm really excited to continue the story because I honestly love the first one. It just made me so happy to read. I saw this manga, Heaven's Design Team, which I thought was a very cool concept and involves zoology and a group of designers in heaven that have to make animals that get sent down to earth. And they have rejected designs, they have accepted designs. I thought it's a very interesting concept and I think it could be a really good read. One, I love animals and two, it's just something I haven't seen before. I did pick up another color manga, Happy Kanako's Killer Life. I think it's an interesting story. I do want to add a couple more color manga to my collection because I think they're pretty cool. Even though they're a little bit more expensive, they're definitely awesome to have in the collection. And on top of it, this story seems really fun and just an overall good read. I did see Living Room Matsunaga Sun Volume 2, and I'm trying to avoid that Volume 2 curse that I keep having, so I really didn't hesitate to pick this up. I haven't dove into Volume 1 yet, and I know this series has a decent amount of volumes out right now, so I definitely want to get going on collecting this. Now this is a manga I passed on in my last haul, Strawberry Fields once again. It has to do with like time travel. So it's a romance with time travel. I think that's a pretty interesting concept and it just looks really endearing and cute and I love those kind of stories. I did pick up I Can't Believe I Slept With You. I, I'm just picking up a lot of mangas I accidentally passed on last haul. I think this one looks really good as well. It's like more of a whimsical story and it's definitely a little bit more adult themed as well. And I did add Zom 100 Volume 5 as the last manga in this haul. You guys know I love this story. I do have to catch up on it. I'm a couple of volumes behind, but I'm just going to continuously collect this as it comes out because it's a very fun story. It's funny. It's a good concept. The characters are great. The art is great but that's it for the haul today. I really hope you enjoyed it and a little April Fool's prank today to celebrate. Hope you have a great rest of your day and enjoy whatever you're reading. I will see you next video.